Okay, we are live. We live. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure it's streaming to Facebook. Hey, tell me this. Can I uh? Yeah, here we go. Can I monitor this on my computer if I hit the link? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm bringing it up on Facebook so I can see the comments. All right. And I gotta. I got to edit the audience so that we can share it because it comes up private when you start doing it. Okay. Summary. But you can okay. hear me loud and clear though, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Y'all need to see it on Facebook myself. Uh, so we live now. You should be able to go ahead and see it. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where we at with it? Where we at with it? Uh, so it should be on my page or go to your page and hit the link. Let me see. Let me see. I should be able to tag you I said you just sent to me. Tap on the end, tap on the end, tap on the end. Wait, hold on. Hold on. See, I'm on my computer. I don't really, uh, <laughs> I don't be on my computer that much, so it's kind of like, kind of confusing. I don't <laughs> see the link, though. Did you tag me? I don't know why. It let me make it public, but it's not letting me share it. All right, let me go to your page. Let me go to your page real quick. Technical difficulties that we'll get through. Let me go to your page and see if I could. I just need me a monitor. Uh... Boom. All right, I got it. Okay, now it's shareable. Damn. Now we got it. Yes, okay. We in there. We, we in, in there. there. Let's get it. Welcome to Couch Conversations. We back, y'all. Yay! We back. We Season back. three of Couch Conversations. And on our first preview episode, we got producer JD. Yay! What's up, y'all? Yeah. What's up? What's up, so Danny girl? Recap of BET Weekend. For those of y'all that missed it, we celebrated Jay for BET Weekend. And we just gonna yeah. do a little recap for y'all. We go chop it up and introduce his new artist so jay for the people that don't know you tell them a little something about you dang what they don't know what the people don't know let me see let me see what they don't know well where you I'm from Jason. Well, you got the big inglewood shirt on, Come on now. I, you always always i'm from inglewood born and raised but you know i got love for cali you know west coast music um, yeah, I'm a music musician, producer, songwriter. Uh, just put out a single by Tamika Scott entitled Tonight featuring Method Man. Y'all can check that out on YouTube, all digital streaming platforms. Um, did a lot of other things, but I ain't gonna take y'all that far back. Do got a new song out that just released, uh, independent song. Um, by one of my artists, Cruddy Crew, Pablo. 
from NC representing as he always does uh one of the nicest uh MCs I know I've been working with him for a very long time so we kind of like circle back to this music thing and we just put out we just released the single last Tuesday so we're gonna play it a little bit later y'all let me know how y'all like it but uh are we gonna recap now or are we just gonna just go in listen you talking about you don't want to take us back but i need you to take us back where y'all want to go let's go back to soulmatic let me i i go back that far i go soulmatic yeah i go back i gotta well let me go back a little bit further let me go back a little bit further when i was about 18. um yeah when i was 18 i, I started producing music um shortly after my 18th birthday things started happening and uh let's just say things just start you know moving up started going up from there um let's say around 96 i was uh moving around the city in inglewood you know doing my thing and um a couple of my homies from uh inglewood hit me up they knew i was doing my thing uh shout out to the young soldiers big y little stretch sugar booger all the homies um they kind of scooped me up they had just signed with death row and i don't know if y'all familiar with east side east side nigga west side nigga that was east one of their nigga, uh side, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember that. that was one of their biggest songs so they got signed from that they got a, ended up copping the deal at death row and they brought me in um so shout out to them and from there it was really up from there you know i had my had a opportunity to work on uh the gang related soundtrack i don't know if you remember that movie with tupac, tupac. Was, yeah. yeah you look on there it's a song on there by the young soldiers entitled uh gangsta shit i think it's called gangsta shit and that's that's me on there that was like 96 got that was my first initial uh big label recording um have fun too and we did a lot of records i did a lot of records at death row but i won't go through all that but that's my start fast forward to about 2000 now we're talking about mr jazz and soulmatic you know i skipped a whole lot but i'm gonna just go to like some of my primary um acts and and and, and uh involvements mr jazz and soulmatic shout out to my bro mr jazz we we go way 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 back um, we, me and him, we formed a group called Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic, featuring a bunch of talented musicians and singers, uh, Demetrius Martin, Solo Jackson, rest in peace, Nina Mack, Felicia, Sylvia, um, who else? Am I, who else am I missing? I'm missing somebody else. Everybody. That's uh, the core. Raven. I was like, Raven, of course, Raven. So, um. Yeah, that was kind of like the beginning of the live music era, soul music. I was venturing off into soul music, leaving hip hop alone for a minute, and I had a good run with my bros. Hopefully, we can play some of them songs tonight, if you don't mind, if you got time. Oh yeah, we can. We, we, can, we, 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 can, we can go. Through. We can go through some soul mat, Mr. Jazz, and soul matic. And a lot of people, if you know, then you know. If you don't know, we'll introduce you to it tonight. Hopefully, uh, you like it hopefully uh it resonates and then now we fast forward i'm just gonna keep going you know now nah, i ain't gonna break down everything but i'm gonna just move right into the tamika scott air um you want to talk about that sure yeah let's talk about it uh, this might be my last time uh talking about this too <laughs> it's not trust gonna me. be your last time trust me but yeah let's talk about it okay well as many of you know I think I went live in like 2020 or something like that, working on her song, right? Years ago. Um, let me just say it like this. She sent me a track. Their pe her, her people sent me a track with the Nas beat, one mic on it, right? It was on YouTube. And what they, were, what they needed was a producer that could play it over without sampling because they couldn't monetize it so it was just on youtube she couldn't put it out she couldn't you know it was one it was you know one mic beat 
So I said, all right, let me check it out. I know the I know the music real well. I'm a musician. I can pick up. I said, let me try it out. So knocked it out, sent it back in about three days, and they loved it. Um, make a long story short, um, pandemic kicked in. We really wasn't able to really, it kind of shut down the whole operation. Even though I had the beat done, I had the track done. They had it in their possession. I was able to kind of put her vocals on top and we had something, but what happened was pandemic came. So everything just uh, came to a halt. Um, last year, December, they hit me up, said, yo, do you still have the files to the beat? I said, yeah, I still got the files. And it was like, well, we got meth on it. We're going to send you methods vocals. Can you make the beat longer? I'm like, cool. All right make the beat longer now mind you y'all y'all gonna see blogs and let me just yeah let me let me back up for a little minute y'all gonna see blogs that says sample one mic phil collins and all this other you know i think she's even mentioned that it was a nice sample but i don't think she really understands production um i can pull up receipts i got i got stem files right here i got all the files let me just tell y'all this a hundred percent of that track was performed by me with these hands, I'm talking about from the drum programming to the chord structure, to the length of the song, to where I placed her vocals, to where I put Method Man's vocals, the hook, the bridge, the fade out, the faded, every, every aspect of the song as far as composing arrangement, that would be me. I'm going to just tell you all that now. And uh, so when you see these little blogs, that says, oh, she's, you know, tonight is free for the Nas sample. Trust me, it's not. She'll be getting sued right now. <laughs> That's the reason she came to me, because it was a, it was a Nas beat. Um, but I flipped it. I flipped it. Um, and you did amazing. Yeah. yeah. You, know you already know I'm going to represent. Yeah, I That's do. It. That was a done and y'all heard huh? that story right here on Couch Conversations while you we on the couch. You ain't gonna hear it nowhere else because I ain't gonna even say it no more. Y'all might see no, it. Now you ain't gonna say it no more. <laughs> Y'all might see it. Bro. I'm always gonna share it on Couch Conversations, you know, because you my peeps. You my peeps. Y'all heard it right here on Couch Conversations. It's not yeah. a sample. It's not a sample. It's not a sample at all. Don't don't believe the hype, y'all. Y'all see it. If you see them blogs, go ahead and type in there. Oh no, my boy JD's go. You know he did this. I might show y'all some stems tonight just to let y'all hear them. <laughs> Stem for stem, just oh, I, got you know. a, I got a couple things I didn't I didn't pull up, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It is what it is. Um. So. Uh. Yeah, that was some juicy information. You know, I like I like talking to you on the couch. Yeah. Even though uh, I'm not on the couch, I'm gonna take it to the couch though. On the second half of this, we're gonna take oh, it to the couch. Jesus. We're gonna take it. Okay. We're gonna take it to the couch. Um. So. One thing I wanted to talk about was Sunday at the celebration. Um, um, we celebrated JD's BET weekend Sunday, June 25th, after the awards um, at the Soul Venue in Carson. And it was an amazing night. It really was. Amazing. Um, amazing. It was amazing. Um, I think you were a little Shout out surprised. To you. Thank you. Shout out to you, too. You did your, you did your thing. <laughs> You did thank your thing. you. I was I was impressed. You did your thing. Everything was thank in place. You, thank you. Everything was in place. Yeah, I, I put a lot of planning into it. Um, yeah. yeah. I know you were a little surprised about the presentation, but we wanted to do something special from you, uh, for you from DMEG. Um, it wasn't big, but we wanted you to have something to remember tonight. Uh huh. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you caught me off guard with that one. Yeah, we you wanted you to have something to remember the night. That's what's up. And um, what's up. yeah, I just wanted oh, to. Oh, I got um, it right here. I got it right here. Oh, not at the computer. Yay! Come on, now. Come on now. That's so sweet. Y'all look, look what my peeps got me, y'all. Let me Yay! see. If I, can... I love this. This is one of my prized possessions right here. You know. Yeah, man, and I put how beats. many streams you had at the time of print, but it has gone up since then. Well, oh, this is six. This is six thirty. Six thirty. 
No, six uh six thirty nine, six thirty eight. Thirty nine, six hundred thirty nine thousand. Yeah, it has it hit six forty uh right after we had it printed, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably we're gonna hit a million. We're gonna hit a million. And I don't know what it's been in the last week. I haven't checked it, but we was proud of you. You know, we wanted to support. That's what's up. That's what's up. I and appreciate um it. I appreciate the song it. is dope. It's fire. It's it's really fire. Uh right on, right on. I hey, you know what I fire. noticed? We didn't play it that night. No, we didn't play the song. We only had the video playing. That's right. I wanted to hear it in the club, though. I never heard it in the club. I just wanted to hear it one time. Okay, well, how about you come to the Cannabis Fest and I have them play it? How about that? Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's get it. Arnite says she your number one fan. And that's my number one. That is my boo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i my, my my monitor cut off are you still on live because I, I don't yes see. we are here all right what's up me tape love you that's my boo right there i love that's i love my cousin yeah she's, she's always been a, everybody always you know that's that's kind of where i started too though yeah yeah Over city yeah 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 she had highest the first praise. back yeah. in them day. Everybody started in the highest praise. Yeah. <laughs> she had a studio at her house uh back in yep. what, 94, 93. 94, 95, yeah. 96, forever. Yep. She literally had a studio. Yep. She still got one. Yeah. I, I bet she do. <laughs> I bet she do. Yeah, That's she said, you know I love you too. That's why, yep. That's why she literally took me in and the music. Remember, she used to USC, all that, you know. Yep, yep. USC, going up there to record, but I love you, Nita. Yep. Love you, girl. So, um, you mentioned Soulmatic. Let's let's play um one of y'all old Soulmatic songs. So, what year was okay. Soulmatic founded? Ooh, don't get it's me. It's been wrong. a long time. It's been a long, long, long time. I put up a post, and Nina was like, it, it, "That it, that's kind of a little too far back, don't you think?" And I was like, "Yeah, I want to say in late '90s or maybe the early 2000s. I know me and Jazz were recording in the late '90s, so I always kind of get it mixed up. But I think 2001, 2002 is when we actually formed and founded Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic. At first, it was Operation Storm, if you remember." I do remember. Yeah, it was Operation Storm at the beginning. Then we kind of flipped the script, brought the Matic in because we had that energy. You know, we just had the Matic energy. And that's how we came up with the name and the group. And uh, everybody is like brothers and sisters. We, we literally get along. We got along really well. And if you was able to come to a show, you saw that on the stage. No matter where we were at, you know, you, you saw. Yeah. We was yeah. locked in. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, let's let's get in let's get into some Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic classic. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I know personally. I know this song came out in 2005. Well, this album came out in 2005. Yeah. And I remember because I came eight months pregnant to the album release party. Oh, uh, well, oh, with, okay, you were. I don't remember. <laughs> that. You were pregnant in the club. Well, I was in yeah. The <laughs> I think I have literally missed like in 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 town. I have probably missed one Soulmatic show, two at probably the Probably yeah. I remember yeah. you at a, every I show. Every show since Operation yep. Storm. Yes. Yep. Definitely. That's why I rock with you. That's that's come on now. If anyone knows Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic, it's Danny Girl. <laughs> it's definitely yes. Danny Girl. So this song came out in two thousand five. Okay, and what song? I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to play Okay. It. okay I'm play Can it. I sing to it while, while it's playing? Can I sing? I got my mic. I got my sure. auto tune. I wish I can get my keyboard on. I might turn my keyboard on. Give y'all a whole full show. Don't give me the... Uh, come on now. Let me let me plug my stuff up. You about to have me go in real quick. You about to, you about to pull out some good music. Yes, Hold sir. Up. Yes, sir. Don't play with me, Danny girl. You ready? You ready? Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. 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 Let's get
Let's see. It should be playing. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I don't hear. I'm like a black guy. Hey, you gonna go there? Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey. You got me so high. I'm like a black kite. Flying up with your beautiful black ghetto. You love us like the beautiful black ghetto. You bring the sunshine like the air. You stay on my mind, even in the air. In other short walks in the park, we can smoke together or listen to some more game or whatever. I'm like, whatever, when it comes to you, you can call me crazy, whatever, boo. It's all irrelevant, cause girl, you have me sent. And I'm gonna represent as if I was the president. Come in, love, you know I'm never hesitant to be your part of your world and just a resident. Call me a chemist. There's no scientific explanation for this. Like the sunrise, honeydew reminds me of the warmth that your heart brings through. And like the hummingbirds in the wind sing too. My melody is eternal bliss for you. Be your email, let us lace perfume. What a girl wants, I can't run. I got that. Got the poet flowing in me. Yo, I like that. Cause I can be who I be when it's us. We be in the moment, Kodak shots of love. My love, your love. Underrated, genuine, and they hate it. You're the closest to heaven, you know I never trade it. If something was to happen to you, I'll make sure that your legacy is generated through. Took me back. Hey, we gotta. I'm we glad gotta, I did. Hey, come on All now. All right, so I love it, but I, I got a I got a special request though. If we go, if we gonna go to Soulmatic, I have to go. Can I? Can I okay, get one? I gotta read this comment because it was funny. Yeah, but let me just <laughs> read you this comment. Aunt Trinice posted my first time going out was to Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic show. And it was, I remember. I got a picture somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember. I, I, I think I have a picture, too. I think I have a picture, too. I swear to God. That's Andre. Yeah. 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 Uh, wasn't she young as hell back back then? Like, wasn't she super young? She, was, she had to be barely old enough to get in. Barely. I'm telling your mama, Andre. I'm telling. They had you out there. <laughs> they had you out there in them streets. 
What's your request, Jay? I want to hear uh, one of a kind. One of a kind. I want to hear one of a kind, and and then we can move on with this, with the moving on, with the moving on. Okay, and we you can got just, Anthony Gates waiting in the hallway to get in the Anthony door. Gates, my bro. One of a kind. <laughs> can we can we can we get a little bit of that? Sure. Let me see. Let me see some here. Let me just see some here. Uh-oh. You put out the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how I go. I, I believe that's how I go. I haven't played in about yeah. 10 years. But it's something like that. Yeah, something like that. That's, that's it. Okay, I found it. Hold on, hold on. You found it. Hold on, hold on. Let's get it. I got Mr. you. Jack, Let me add it to the, the screen. Let me add it to the screen so everybody can watch it. Can I? Can I? Can I introduce it? Can I? Can I shout it out? Go ahead. All right, y'all. We about to listen to some classic music right here. Uh, Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic, one of my personal favorites on the record. Y'all go check it out, download it, go stream it. It's called One of a Kind. Check it out. Here you go, Mr. Jazz and Soulmatic. Let's get it. Let's get it, Danny girl. Thank you. 
sisters my soul sisters yeah, yeah i'm digging yeah, it i had to hear that soul, i had to hear that soul. one time i had to hear that one time yes, uh yes, yes, classic classic ain't even a word okay let's classic let's tap ain't in the word. Anthony. you ready anthony where you at anthony i don't see no video there you go there we go. Anthony Gates, how you doing? I'm all right, y'all. What's up, yeah, Gates? Oh, man, chilling, man. Chilling, man. Sitting on here, clowning around, you know. <laughs> getting inspired. Indeed. So, I'm yeah, glad man. you tapped in, Mr. Gates. Right. Uh, let's talk about your performance, um, BET Weekend. And you know what? For everybody that missed it, I got it. Hold on. Let me find it real quick. Real quick. I got it. I got it. I got it too. I got it too. Okay, hold on. We got a clip of it. We gonna play real quick. Mr. Anthony Gates. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shout out to my haters. 
Hey, Danny gone? I don't know what happened to her, bro. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. Go oh, there. She go. Listen, there I like how go. everybody singing till they famous in the background. You <laughs> old to something, bro? <laughs> Sing till I'm famous. You said do it. That's do it to you. Enjoyed just, you, bro. I enjoyed. I appreciate you. it. I appreciate it. I just appreciate the opportunity. You know, was dope. every time I get the chance to get on stage, I just, you know, I don't take it for granted. So I count it all joy. Yeah. Every time I'm able to use my gift. Because it's, it's, it's really not for me. So, you know, every time I, I get tell. a chance, I try to just, no matter what I'm doing, whether it's me, you know, singing my own stuff or singing with my group, you know. Mm -hmm. No matter what, you know, I just try to get my all. But yeah, man, I, it was a lot. I I actually enjoyed everybody, man. Like thoroughly enjoyed everybody. I did that too. Perform. Um, everybody did a great job. So I mean, yeah, yeah. they did. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, yeah they did. everybody on the whole thing did a great job. So it was just great to like set the atmosphere that's really what it was about i just wanted to like set the atmosphere definitely you know? a, a great opening act yeah i just that's all i wanted to do yeah you know that's that i hope there's many more many, many. Be many more For you sure. know we're on tour right now so we got a lot of dates coming up yeah shout out to I'm everybody ready. On the DME G Coast to Coast tour. Yeah, shout out to everybody. To a city dear y'all. We'll be there. Ready. Hope you are too. I'm definitely ready. Well, thank you for tapping in. Oh yeah, man. I'm right here. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna probably just go to Facebook and watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, going, I was going back and forth, so Okay, well, thank you for tapping in. And no, we got Cutty Crew Pablo in the waiting room, so we gonna get to him shortly. Right on. Hey, good seeing um, you, though, Gates. Always good seeing you, my brother. Yes, sir. Nice to hear from you. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got um, Cutty Crew Pablo in the waiting room. We gonna get to him shortly. Would you like to introduce your artist before we bring him on? Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce him. Uh, are we we ready? We we at that point right now? Yeah, he's just waiting to come on. Okay, cool, cool. I'm happy in the room. So I want to introduce to y'all, um, good friend of mine's great artist, talented artist. Uh, I've been working with him for some time now, a little over a decade. We did some numbers. We traveled around the the globe, did some tours. Uh, fresh out of North Carolina. One of NC's best MCs out there. Um, swag is through the roof. His artistry is is unmatched. Um, I introduce to y'all Mr. Credit Crew Pablo. His name is Pablo, but yes, sir. Credit Crew Pablo. He in the house. What's up, my brother? What's up, my brother? What's going you, on? Man. How you doing, Miss Lady? I'm good. How are you? Welcome to Couch Conversations. Yes, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you for the opportunity, man. Big shout out, Jay. Big yeah, shout man. out. You already know it's one love. Introduce yourself, Danny girl. Let just let them know who we talking to, real quick. So I'm this Danny is girl. I am the host of Couch Conversations. I am also the CEO of Divine Management and Entertainment Group. Okay. And um, we are here. We here tonight. We we recapping and uh, what happened last week, celebrating Jay, and we're also. Introducing all things attached to him. Right, well. right. Salute to my brother. Salute, bro. You already know. So, uh, so you want me to you want me to talk this one through, Danny Grill? Or you you got it? You Go wanna, ahead. You ask me? Okay. <laughs> I just want uh, 
you already I already introduced you, Pablo, but I, I just really sure. want you to reiterate what you got going on, what we got going on, and uh, and then we just gonna get into the music. We gonna just in, just give us a short intro, and then we'll get get into the music, and we'll chop it up a little bit after that. Nah, for sure, brother. Yo, you know yes, the name the name Pablo. Got my own label, Cordy Crew Records. Uh, I'm from North Carolina. I'm really popping. I'm really I'm, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay said, we we done done this before. Yeah, you know what I mean, I, uh, you know, took a little break, you know, being a dad and all that type of stuff. And that's time to, you know, get back out here and who other to get it back popping with other than my brother. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Yes, sir. We got the blessings. The video is it, out now. The Facebook tore it up. Um, I got the we got the Maybach song finna come out there and I'm doing a yes, dance competition for that video. That's going to be stupid lit. <laughs> yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for that one. Can't yeah. wait for that one. Hey, I'm working, bro. Okay. Would you like to introduce your blessings video for us and then we gonna play it for everybody so they can see it? Yeah, let's do that, man. For, um, your boy Pablo, um, blessings produced by my brother Jay Fingers. You know, what I mean, see for y'all if you're blessed, if you're feeling good, it's summertime. If you, you know, if your life been where it need to be, this song for you. We count our blessings day and night. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's my dog right there. <laughs> let's get it. Yeah, Sersky. You got it. You got it, Danny girl. You got it queued up. We getting a video or a song? What we getting? Ooh. We getting that video. Oh, we getting the video. Let's get it. Ooh, get live it. reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey, 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 I want to see some hearts in the comments. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. We count it All right, Moses. Count it up. 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 Count we roll on them plus and get high. Ooh, she got that ass that I like. Remember them days when we ain't have nothing, now we just living our life. Now with the sound of my feet, my earrings a quarter of I just get the club in the seats. At the top of my haters be neat. I hop on that plane and it ain't no sleeping head in the Spain. I land in the visa, going through customs, they swiping my visa. But they call me Pablo whenever they greet me, yeah. Smell like green, yeah. Bandana got double C, yeah. Moving them peas, yeah. Rockin' BB, yeah. This one fuck with me, said I won't work, and now she see, yeah. I'm in another league, yeah. Big, big show, we, yeah. Made back riding, I might pull off with the show, food. And about that life, so I keep a 40 in my home, too. <laughs> Said if you love her, then be your her. Well, I like it her, so I like it her. I'm counting up blessings while piping her. We counted up blessings tonight. Learning these lessons tonight. Sinking the wrist. Getting no bank with the drip in the eyes. Another dimension I'm like. Girl, let me confess when I ride. Ooh, I repent in the night. We counted up blessings tonight. Learning these lessons tonight. Sinking the wrist. No bank with your trip in the eye. Another dimension, I'm like, God, let me confess when I have a bed in the night. From a lamb, I jump in my diamonds, see the bells. Pull up my dick like I just took a piece of my wrist. The stones look yellow. I'm gonna take off of my hanger to support. They speak a different with language. See the niggas I hang with. You the same ones that I came with. Still on the block. Put a spit some cards in my hood. Got bitches.
Boy, that's that. Boy, that's that thing right there, boy. Hey, man. That's that thing right there. Hey, now tell me, was y'all hearing the glitch on y'all end? Because I'm getting... Uh, yeah, I thought it was my phone. That's why I moved my phone around a little bit. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, I think that, I think it's the connection. It's all good, man. They get, they get I see, I see, I see the, I see the fire emojis and the hearts and the, I see it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, yeah, so, so, Pablo. Yes, sir. This thing hot, man. Thing hot. <laughs> this shit go, bro. I love that song, bro. Hey, Danny girl. It is, you know, um, I don't know if Jay told you, uh, he dropped it to the fleet DJ, so. You know, yeah, he yeah, did. That, he did. Salute to the Slick yeah, DJs, though, for Sochi. That should be pushing on their stations pretty soon if it haven't started already. Mm -hmm. That's and, love. Uh, and Pablo, they're going to be out there, the Fleet DJs, they having a convention. I'm going to matter of fact, I'm going to have Danny Girl send me the information. She got all the information. They have an event out there in North Carolina. Right. I want you to pull right. up, bro. All the DJs everything artists you can perform i want you to pull up i already got a, a inside a really good opportunity. i'm yeah. there i'm there just yeah. tell me when ain't want well, nothing in the world stop me from being there for sure <laughs> yeah. so i got you i got for you sure. yeah, me, me and jay been chopping it up since he did the fleet dj's interview and i've been able to hear some of your music when he dropped okay. it i was like okay yeah so you we're gonna with... together and yeah we're gonna do something all right, yeah, it's all I fuck with that. You back on the couch for sure. Yeah, I fuck, yeah, for sure. Though I'm back on the couch. Too. Have him back on the couch. This is just an this is an introduction, but please right. bring him back on the couch. He got a lot. Yeah. He got a lot of music out there. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah. So, man, you already know, uh, Pop. Hey, Jay, I appreciate you, bro. You know how you we rock it. it. It's nothing but love, man. It's nothing but love. It was something else I had to tell you, man. I can't even think of it right now, but. You got something to say, Danny girl? Oh, uh, no, nah, just, you know, we rocking with you, and, and we definitely going to be tapping back in with you. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have you back on the couch. Okay, so. We'll be here for Fleet DJs. Um, you know, occasionally I do book the uh, West Coast uh, Fleet DJs. Okay. Spotlight. So when we get a chance, we'll get you on there when I get a couple of more slots. Man, let's get it. So I promise I'm going to come tear it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> proud of me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's do hey, it. Uh, Good to you, baby. Pablo, hey, before you go, you want to share your uh your social media and everything with everybody? Yes, sir, you brother. Uh, everything, Cody Crew, Pablo. YouTube, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, um, and my Facebook. Uh, uh I got a Facebook page. Everything is Cody Crew, Pablo. C R U W D Y C R E W P A B L O. It's yeah, good. make sure y'all follow him on all his social media platforms. Yeah. Pablo. Also, I'm going to tap in with you. Uh, we got the radio station. It's okay. Been in this for a year, but I got my crew, and they're going to have it back up and running this weekend. <laughs> let's get it, so then. We want to make sure you definitely is in rotation on the station. Ooh, let's get it. I got And let me know any drops anybody need. However, I'm, I'm coming wherever y'all need. Let's, let's do for it. For sure. I will be in touch with you today or tomorrow. Okay, that'll work though. Okay, good looking hey. out. Thank you for coming and being on the couch. You too, baby. Good meeting you, Jay. Hit me up when you're done, my brother. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Salute. All right, fam. All right, fam. All right, so we here tonight. We kicking it with my cousin slash my guy, JD's. We, we in here. Some of his old music, his new music. <laughs> and if y'all yeah. tune in, he just introduced his new artist, Cruddy Cool Pablo. So Pretty we cool definitely want to support. We definitely, definitely want to support. Make sure if you are watching that you follow him on all his social media sites. Definitely. Also, I don't know. Let me go to the comments and see what the comments talk about. Y'all ready to play some cash app games? I think I want to play a cash app game tonight. You giving away some money? Type it in, please. Okay, I will do that. Hold are you giving on. away money? Wait, sure. you giving? Yeah. Giving away some money? I want some money. Listen. I want some on money. On the couch, we laugh, sip, and kiki. Okay? And kiki. Okay. So, you know, I like to pay, play my, ca my cash app games and, you know, have somebody have a sip with me. Do I need to grab me a little sip? Do I need to grab something? Hey, 
You got time. Let's get this cash app game going. Y'all okay. ready? Y'all go let ahead. me know in the comments. Is y'all ready for the cash app game? Y'all ready? Especially if you've been tuning in, you should be ready. Cash app games. It's time for cash app games. Cash app games. <laughs> y'all ready? Look, look at the bottom of the screen. Time for cash app games. Yay! All right, y'all. So I got a question. I got a question. Oh, they in the comments. They ready. They ready. ready. Okay, so I got a question while Jay grabbed his drink and we laughing and sipping and key key. I want to know what was Jason's first major project that he said at the beginning of the show. So if y'all wasn't tapped in to the beginning, I'm Ooh, pretty good sure but he, one. he was on a major project when he was 18 years old. And That's it's a, a movie good one. soundtrack. It's a movie soundtrack. It's a movie soundtrack. So if you watching, in the movie. you know the answer. If you got the answer, drop it in the comments with your cash app, and I got you. Let's see. Mean, Come on, y'all. Let's see who got it. Cash app games. Uh, Lord, I was not on at that point. Uh -oh. in the highest praise. Oh my God, Mama, you funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that. I always, listen, I love that. Y'all are new to couch conversations. Y'all get ready for y'all season three, Kiki, because my mama is the guts every episode. I love you, Mama, because she is gonna that. tune in and she is gonna make you laugh every episode. Get wait till we get, get to the call-in segment. Oh, wait till we get to the call-in segment. Oh, <laughs> y'all ain't uh -oh. ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yes. so, um, do anybody know? That? Don't nobody know what the answer is? Oh, y'all wasn't have... watching. I guess the people that was watching at the beginning of the show didn't left. Yeah, they didn't left, huh? Okay, the question is, cash app games. The question is, I what can ask Jason's first major project. Yes, Erica, you qualified to play because I want to know if you know the answer to this. What was Jason's <laughs> first major project that he said he did when he was 18 or 19 years old? And it's a movie soundtrack. It's I a movie know. soundtrack. Drop it in the comments. I didn't give y'all so many. Listen, I didn't give y'all so many clues. Y'all could have Googled it. Right, it was 1996 or 97, so I'm, I'm giving y'all the year. <laughs> y'all could have Googled it by now. Come on, y'all get it together. Look, he's not, still fixing drinks. All right, y'all about to lose this little cash app money above the rim. No, but that's close. That's a, close. Little, a little too early. That's a little too early. I, I'll give you another, I'll give you a clue. Tupac was in the movie. He started in the movie. What was the question? The question was, Here. what was Jason's first major project that he said at the beginning of this interview that he did when he was 18 or 19 years old? It's a movie soundtrack. Grid lock. Damn, that was close. That's close. Y'all in the right years. Y'all on the wrong movies. Uh, can, can, I give, can, can I give him the other actor that was in it? No! Okay. okay. No, 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 no. Nope. I, I wish. Gang no. related. Yes, my Kayla got it. <laughs> Drop your cash app. We got you. Yay, my Kayla. The answer was gang related. Erica, you was like two seconds too slow. Damn. Two, <laughs> two seconds too slow. Yeah, Kayla's popped up first. Where'd it go, uh, my Kayla? Good job, Marquila. Way so to we go. Cash out, Marquila. Hey, you just come on, e, I probably told you that about five times, E. You're we go cash out, Marquila, right now. We playing cash app games, y'all. Cheers, Marquila. And um, yeah, Marquila, you get a drink on BMEG. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So also, while I'm cash apping money out, if y'all would like to show y'all support for these cash app games, please <laughs> feel free to Zelle, Apple Pay, or cash app me. I also take Venmo. It's at the bottom of the screen. You can show your support for the show. 
while I'm cash app and Keela her money. Mm-hmm. One second, D. Cash app. Why am I not gonna get my cash app? That's weird. Okay. I got you, Keila. I ain't even got my wallet. This ain't my debit card. At- oh, I did unlink it when it was taking everybody money. Uh oh. I got you though, Keila. Soon as the show is over, I'ma cash up you your money. And if anybody would like to su- show support to the show, please feel free. Um, if you've watched Couch Conversations previous seasons, you know I take the money. I build a set with it. We use it for cash app games and different things like that to bless people in different ways on the show. So if y'all would like to show y'all support, I take Zelle, Apple Pay. My number is at the bottom of the screen. You can cash app or Vim, Vimo me, D-M-E-G-L-L-C. And um, yeah, I'm working on a new set, y'all. I've got podcast equipment and all my couch and stuff, but I'm still working on my set. So if y'all want to help a nigga out, I appreciate it. This is kicking my ass. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> What you drinking on, Danny? What you drinking on? Uh, what are I'm you drinking? Margarita. On? Okay. Yes. I got a little yak, a little yak. Oh, just a Lord. little bit. Just, just a little, little bit. bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. We on the couch with my cousin co-host tonight, Jason D. I thank everybody. My mama said I deserve a cash app for y'all taking over my house in Beverly Hills. Oh my God, Mama! Mm-hmm. Look at what you produced. Look at the screen. This is what we took over, and look at what you produced. Hey. Amazing job, Arnite. Amazing, amazing, amazing job. Yes. Amazing job. Oh, Nite, like, you, you cre- I'm sorry, you created Mama. Created something. I'm gonna I'm try. Okay. So yes. You did. You did that, Moms. You did. I mean, you cousin. Did. You did that. <laughs> that you, 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 and you say you used to still that used is, to come that pick is what me happens up. when you let your kids take over. That's why my kids that took over. Andrew kicked me out all day yesterday. I was a little upset when it got cold last night. But when I heard what he did, I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, we we Are yeah we these tonight. Um yeah. We've what been we talking about now. Uh the oh, show you know what? You know what? I do want to shout out a couple of people from the okay, show. Go ahead. Uh, I want to shout out Elves Catering. Yes, yes. Them tacos was the they was tacoing the way they was supposed to. They was tacoing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Elves Catering and and to let y'all know she does Taco Tuesday. So if you ever want to, you know, get some tacos. Hit her up. She's on Facebook, I believe, Instagram also. Yeah, I've been sharing her post this day, so yeah. Okay. So yeah, y'all see, you either see the post in Danielle's timeline or mine, or you can just go follow her. Elf Kaden, shout out to her. And uh, who else? I want to shout out Smith. Uh, why not? Yes. Why not? Thank Why Not for coming out. Right. And uh, Erica Beckwith. Erica, yes. Shout out Miss Erica Beckwith. She's a, like she's a, a great support. She's a great she support is. to have. She is. Uh, you want to have her on the team. Any team that you have, you want to have her on the team. So shout out to her. And then all my friends, all the people that came out to support. Thank y'all, Sonia, uh, Sharnice, and the girls. Shout out to Jazz. Jazz don't come out the house. Shout out to Jazz. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you. You was the real MVP because you don't come out the house. Let's drink. Yeah, let's drink to that. Yeah, che- cheers though. Let's get the cyber. Let's get the cyber toast. Yeah, because there we go, bam. Because he don't come out the house. He don't come. He came out that night. You gotta love it. Oh, thank you, know, you Jazz. I, I, we appreciate you. Jazz um, came out. He was in the building that night. It was an yeah. amazing event, though. It was. It was awesome. It was. It was definitely a good event. All the artists were good. All of them did All their thing. The there was not one artist where I was like, okay, I shouldn't have booked them. Everybody All the did. artists were good. I Shout out. Shout out to everybody. Yes. yes. That y'all inspired um, me. 
So I want to give a shout out to everybody that came from St. Louis because they came out here a little thick. So shout out to they Promise, Youngin, yeah. MAB. Shout them out for coming out from St. Louis. We appreciate them because they, yeah, they was yeah. pushing. Oh, they came ready. Yeah. Yeah. I was chopping it up with them outside. It was like, this is our first time in Cali. We're going to Vegas after this. I said, man, I, I want to go. Take me with y'all. I'll be y'all navigator. I'll tell you where to go. I know all the spots there, but they was real cool. Shout out to them. Real Shout cool out to people. Brooke for flying out from Texas. Shout out to Brooke. Shout out to Brooke. She's dope. Brooke was dope, too. A lot yeah, of people missed, they missed her. She's dope. Brooke is dope. Shout out to Chardonnay, though. Charnese. Okay, let's see. I think I got Charnese's performance too. Hold on. I got a couple of these yeah, performances. Got, got I got that. Brooks too. Hold on. Hold on. We got that. Shout so out to them. Tap in and uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see who I see first. I ain't got my glasses on. Next time I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. Uh, you see, I got mine. I'm not even playing tonight. Oh no, Which I don't have Charnese. I have Brooke. So let's I got, check Brooke out. I got Charnice. Charnice is in mine. Can you play it from Facebook? She's on uh, my time. Now. I probably can. I probably can. But let's check. I like this type of stuff. All right, let's check her out. This is, this is what I write for. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, it's up. It's up, bro. It's up. Brooke is hot. Brooke came with that, with that, with the rainbows and the, the purple horseshoes and the diamonds. Right. <laughs> the unicorns and the flower children. Yeah, she. Yeah, she came with the flower, with the, with the, 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 the heaven dust falling from the sky. <laughs> Dope though. I was just hearing stuff when, as she was singing. So. I love Brooke. Brooke been with me for hold on, I'ma think realistically. I like to get Brooke with Brooke has been voice. with me. I, I said seven years. I've been knowing her seven years. She's been with me five years. Okay. So shout out to Brooke. I love Brooke. Where's she at? Why yeah. she ain't in the comments though? Why she not even Brooke joining? works at night. Brooke works at SpaceX. Brooke. We're gonna have to get you a hit. You need to stop. Let me stop playing. You need to be always talking so, to your people. Around 10 30 is usually where she take her break, but she might have took it early because we had a Zoom meeting today. But yeah, Brooke, Brooke worked at night at uh SpaceX. Okay, she got a good job. That's a good job. Yeah. She got options. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Brooke. So you don't have, uh, let me see something. If you go to my page, you can find, I think. Shardy's? Yeah, you can find Shardy. Okay, I didn't get a see. chance to load up my other ones. Because um, I know I have all my performers. I mean, all my artist performances, but I don't know. Hey, shout out to you too, though. You did your thing too, though. I appreciate you. You did your thing. Um, I got that on video too. I got I do have that on video. Uh you did your I thing. I was trying to sing a little bit. <laughs> I, was, I, was I ain't gonna lie, I was impressed. I, I was impressed. You did it. It was like kind of easy for you. You wasn't even really it was very easy for you. I can tell. I'm it was just like when I did the single, when I did the single. I had to do the single while I was inspired to do the single. Like it was a lot going on around the single. And yeah. um, 
Yeah, I'll tell you that story. Um, I can't find Charnice. That's too far down the timeline. So yeah, yeah so when is. I did Blush for Two, I'm just gonna tell you this story. Let's get it all out since we're telling the business tonight. I was um digging somebody. <laughs> And some that. happened at the club. So I went home and wrote that song because his last words to me were, I really hope you do something with your music. Okay. And I hadn't been doing anything but like singing cover songs at Drag Tiquity. Mm -hmm. And I had did something on one of his songs. So okay. it really... Okay irritated my soul to a sense almost that he broke up with me and then said i really hope you do something with your music so i was like okay i'm gonna do something with my music but while we were together he had gave me this idea to write a song about him called blunts for two so i went home that night while i was mad and wrote the song breaks pump your brakes pump your brakes pump your brakes <laughs> so i'm trying to because you know you know, <laughs> I try to really figure out where people get their inspiration from. It was out of anger. That love song was out of anger. It was out of anger? Yes. And you still, and so who was the two then? I mean, if it's out of anger, who's the two? Okay, so you? what happened was when, we, when we were together, when we were together, he told me that I should write a song called Blunts for Two about okay. us smoking a blunt together. Okay, okay, I dig that. So when I he broke that. up with me and told me he hope I do something with my music, that's what it led to. Okay, okay. But when I recorded it, I was getting over COVID, so I was sick. Okay. But I needed to get it done. <laughs> sound too angry. I didn't hear no anger in there, though. No I heard a anger. lot of love. No, a lot of love. Admiration, that a lot of that was the space that I was in when I was with him. <laughs> and for the fuckery to happen the way it did, it just kind of was like, damn, my nigga, this is how I felt about you, though. You still want to smoke a blunt with him? Do you still, you still in that, in that you know mode? I actually hit him up and asked him would he do the remix, and he never responded. Wait, he rap or something? Do what he do? He's a rapper. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. I'm pretty sure like he's heard the song. He probably would never admit that to me, but I know the type of nigga he is, and I know when the song was released, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have clicked the button to listen to it because he gave me the inspiration, so he knows about him. Like that. Dang, yeah. you must be the man. You the man with somebody writing songs about when you, like, you the man. Whoever do this, shout out to you, bro. Salute. I salute you, bro. Danny girl, if you got Danny girl writing about you, bro, you 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 the you real girl. <laughs> you real girl. I'm her cousin, bro. Like so I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Absolutely no, he for was sure. Very, he was very, very motivational, and I mean very. He was very motivational. Like I was feeling a type of way about a lot of things, and he gave me clarity about a lot of things. Right on. Right on brought me out of a space where the music actually, you know, it was kind of like, okay, I think I could do this. Cause I've always questioned me being an artist always. Right on, right you on. Know? So, I, so it did, it, it made me take a deep dive into the pool with no floaties. And I guess yeah. I could swim a little bit. You can swim a little bit. You can swim. Yeah. yeah. So, I got a couple so, of two, three streams on YouTube. So, you so, know. So, 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 since we being candid and we on the couch and well you on the couch i'm in my seat are you still you still are you still you know is there some resin left from this relationship or are you you good no. that song helped you finish yeah you know i'm good? actually um okay i'm gonna tell you my healing process is different and i found that it works and i ain't even trying to be funny like i'm afraid to get over a nigga in a minute it only take me like two or three days, really, really, really to get over somebody. Really? Yeah. If I'm done, I'm done. Because when I make up my mind to be done and I actually walk away, that means I didn't got to the point where I don't have nothing else left in me for you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you I'm good? Cool. You mm -hmm. good? Mm-hmm. Got you a song, got the deal? I got a song. 
I did. Did you get your, did you get your heart broke, or did it, it was kind of of even trade? So I can't say I got my heart broke. I just didn't like some of his reasons <laughs> for breaking digging. up with me. I just think it was some bullshit involved. But it's cool. You know, it, 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 come on. You know how it go. You know how it go out I here. do know how it go. But, you know, I'm not going to go into his reason for breaking up with me. But I just felt like it was one of them situations where I'm like, if you broke up with me over that, my nigga, we don't need to be together. That was the best thing you could have did for me. Because mm. it would have been some more bitch shit later. Chardis said, I'm digging. <laughs> well, we on the couch. If y'all know what the couch is about. You know, we digging, we dig. Oh, they, come on now, Shawnee. You know we digging. You know we digging today. She shouldn't even have me on the show because I'm about to start interviewing her in a minute. There is nothing don't... off limits on the couch. You know, no, no, when you come sit limit. on the couch, when you come sit on the couch, you might as well just open up the book because I've already been digging and I'm finna expose some pages. Okay. You know what? I'm having fun. So however long you want to go, I'm going to be right here. I got me a little, <laughs> got me a little bottle of Merlet. <laughs> bottle of Merlet. I'm going to go easy on it tonight. I ain't going to I ain't gonna do too much with it. But uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Jason did the mastering on Plus for 2 for me, and I appreciate him for that. That song was only done in like two, three days. So, you know, it was a, it was a I'm trying to get it done job before I lose my inspiration. <laughs> But Shut I got a new track that I got from Jason. Right. And yeah, I got some more inspiration. Lord Jesus. How, how's it coming along? So I wasn't inspired until today when my mama called. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's some me and so, these so, men. That's all I can say. Me and these men. These men. Uh, we, I'm gonna we gonna we gonna keep you in prayer. Everybody keep her in prayer. Listen, in I'm prayer. single and I've been happily single for a long, 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 long time. A long, Good. long, long, long time. Good. I just need people to keep that in mind. You are good. You're good. I'm good. Regardless yeah, good. of what the streets say, though, regardless <laughs> of what y'all hear in the streets and at the barbershop, I'm single. I want to shout out. I want to shout out one person I see in the comments, and that's uh. Hold on one second. What is Doc Smooth? I see him. I see him. Shout out Doc Smooth. What's up, I big brother? Him. That's a cool brother right there, man. Shout out to Doc Smooth, but it's uh, Sean, man. I want to shout out Sean. Oh, hey, Sean. I see a lot of the artists in the in the uh chat. Sharnice, Sean, Keela, Sean, 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 Erica. Hey, I really enjoy Did Sean. Play any of his productions tonight? Yeah, we played his new artist. We didn't play tonight, played... though. No, she said, "Did we play any of your productions tonight?" So yeah, we, we played, played a... his new artist, Credit Crew Pablo, and no. we played a, a a couple of throwback Soulmatic songs. You know what? Speaking of Soulmatic, let me just um go on and do some other stuff over here. Okay. So yeah, uh, if y'all know anything about Jason and who he played for and what he produced, just let me know in the comments. And if you know um, anything, yeah. if you know anything, it, I, you anything. know people don't be, people don't know nothing about me, man. I, I be in my own little it's world. You. That's how you find out, okay? People don't know nothing about me. I I be in my own little space, trying to do my thing. Um, yes, man. But uh, if you know, uh, then you know. If you know, then you know. Um, all about positive yeah, energy. Basically, I see. I see. You. I hear you, Sean. Some things tonight, just in case they don't know. What did you miss? Hey, what did you miss? Thank y'all for said? tapping in. Make sure y'all sharing this. What's share up, this Keisha? With friends, me, okay. We gonna let me shout out. Let me shout out a few people. I see a few on people that I, I, in. Yeah, what's up, Keish? Keisha Griffin up in here. I see her. I see you, Keish. <laughs> like I said, Sean Windsor. Shout out. Uh, Robert Byrie. 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 Doc Smooth. Oh, that's that's Doc. Shout out, Doc. Yeah. Um, Eric, what you talking about? You missed it. What did you miss? 
she missed the beginning. Do we want to play about some, this right uh, here, Jay? Which, what, what, what you know about this, Jay? Let's get to this real quick. Hold on, y'all. Uh -oh. This right here. This right here. Oh, hey, I'm gonna play it. I got. Just why listen to what I'm getting dressed for church on Sunday. Hey. <laughs> Stupid. Y'all go download this. Yes, and that's so Jay. Woke up this morning, got out of my bed, took a look around, this what I said, thank you Lord, for the blood you shed, you put a roof up over my head, thank you Lord, for one more day, and all the blessings. Sent my way, could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. But you told dad to get back, get back, get back, get back in me. Hey, ooh, we just one more. Oh, I'm 
church boy you already know i'm a church boy so that's gonna come with the territory right. when it comes to music and production right. this is go always gonna be the end result this this type of music and this genre of music um i want to do i, I do want to shout out everybody from smith and soj everybody from the youngest to the oldest from the smallest to the biggest it's no it's no big eyes and little it's literally that song literally took everyone's collaboration um we often hear oh jay produced that but let me just tell you something about that particular song that song took your son andrew on bass let me just break it down andrew's on bass you got don 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 Danier on keys on the piano i'm on the roads you got daryl mitchell on guitar you got a little bit of raving up in there. You got jazz on the backgrounds. You got Bailey himself on the leads, and then you got Smith. All of that came together, and it literally was like uh, it. It was literally like watching uh, the best magic trick you ever saw in your life. I mean, when I say everything came together perfectly. Did. This is the one song of those songs. Did. This is it one did. of yeah. This is one of those songs. I'm really, I'm really proud that I, the I was able I to. played that song is because even though you didn't produce it, you be real like laid back on who you played for and what you played on. I noticed when we was talking and I was um talking to you about the Fleet DJs interview, and I was asking you about Faith and about Marcus at um, Houston and different people <laughs> that you play for. You was being real modest about it, but you know what I'm saying? I know you didn't produce certain things, but you definitely on there putting your touch on it and, yeah, and lifting yeah. your, your hand somewhere in the background on the keys, yeah, on the yeah. auxiliaries, on the, somewhere even yeah. uh, lightly in the production. And I know you yeah. been real modest about it. Yeah, um, if I if I can't take over, I'm gonna I'm gonna be modest, you know. I'm gonna be real modest. <laughs> if it ain't my deal, I'm gonna be modest, you know. I'm gonna be modest. I'm not gonna put a lot, you know, too much on it, but yeah, I do but appreciate. You still there? You still there? Oh yeah, I I appreciate putting Let my little signature. You, um, just just something that a lot of people don't know about me. Like mm -hmm. this is why I hate that we don't have CDs anymore. Because when right. I would buy the CD. The first thing that I would do was open it up and read the credits, even before I listened to it. Right, I wanted to right. know who produced it, who did the keys, who did the drums, who wrote right. on it. <laughs> right. you know, I've always been the person that wanted to know who made it come together. I've never really been so much about the artist because the artist is just dealing with the finished product most of the time. You right, right, I've right. I always like, wanted to know like who did the keys and who played the right. drums and right, right. Uh, I, I still do that. You know what I'm saying? I will Google a song in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But but I've always liked that. And you know, I yeah. hate that we don't have CDs now for people to be known for doing those things anymore. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, because yeah. when you streaming a song, you don't have to add nothing to it but the name of the song and who the artist is. You know what I mean? Right, right. They kind of miss it at today in today's credits and you know, I they, they don't really go into if you look at like Uwe, if you go to the credits on Uwe, literally I listed everyone. Air like I don't really like even when I'm doing like let's say independent work with a, a with an artist that's not signed to a label, I'm gonna list everyone that collaborated on that. I don't believe in that, you know, because I don't believe in just putting myself out there unless it's just one it's just one that i just did by myself but if i got right. great musicians and other people that's really collabing we gotta we gotta really because I'm, I'm not responsible for uh everything per per speak you know if i got a guitar player on there doing this thing that's putting the accent on the track 
I want to list that. You know what I'm saying? It's important that I list that because it's going to help this 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 musician, this great musician, get another gig. And, and you know, I'm like that. If we can't list musicians and, and producers or whoever collaborated and contributed to the track to get them on for another big opportunity, then what are we doing this for? So that's that's my main thing. When I'm dealing in music, I don't really. I don't just sign my name on there. It's just, it's just, it's just me. No, I, I don't really believe in that. I like really putting because you know it takes a. Sometimes it takes a team to really put a production team to really put something grand together. It, it's cool if you can do it by yourself. That's cool. But if you can find some some guys that can really collab with you and mesh real, list it. You know, list that. It it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying. So yes. that's that's me. That's me. When I did you know. Blunts for Two, I I actually did the original track for Blunts for Two. I still have it. I did mm -hmm. the original track. And if you listen to my song at the beginning, it says D Barnes on the track, because that's my tag. Yeah. Um yeah. it's on the original Blunts for Two. But when I recorded Blunts for Two, I sent Danye everything and told him, I need you to do whatever it is to make the song come together. I was thinking he was just going to mix it or something. You know what I'm saying? But he literally stripped everything off my song except the vocals and played everything and then sung the background vocals. Like, I made yeah. sure that when I did that, he got his credit for writing and producing because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I was yeah. it was my first project. And literally he told me after he did it, it was his first project too. You know what I'm saying? That's so what's I'm, up very happy to be able to share that with him but i made sure that when i did that song that he got credit because what he yeah. did from the original track i made the track very hip-hop it was very hip-hop and he flipped it yeah because you know the song was about a rapper so i've had it on some other some other shit. oh okay you had it on some ratchet some ratchetness it wasn't a ratchet it was it was kind of funky but it was more hip-hop Okay, okay. I'm I'm just playing though. I'm capping though. Diane I'm, I'm just... made it so jazzy and okay. R and B and soulish, and he flipped it so much that it don't even sound like the original song. So whenever I perform that song, I always make sure I shout him out. You know what I'm saying? Always because I have got so many compliments on that song. Like people that I know was like, I was expecting you to come out with some ratchet stuff, and you came out with some real <laughs> jazzy grown woman. Like yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. And my brother, yeah. you know, I couldn't, I couldn't have did that without my brother. I couldn't have. You couldn't. Have. You couldn't. Have. I couldn't even. Uh, I couldn't even have helped you with that one. He did his thing. Shout out to little bro, my yeah. cousin. Diane. Shout out to Diane. Shout out to Donye, one of the baddest musicians in LA. If you sleeping, then you just sleeping. <laughs> but trust me, he's one of the baddest. And I say that humbly because he's he's a humble individual, very talented. And I admire him. He's he's the he's he's the next in line. I mean, when I and then when I say that, I mean like literally. He he he's gonna like literally <laughs> like just get out his way. Just get out my mom way. in the comments, she said she just want to add shout out to you for I'm telling you a secret for USC. Classic. That come on now. Is Sheila still really up in here? Is. That really is whole, classic. That's a classic. I'm telling you a secret. I know I still remember it, Arnita. Not you remember it. I remember it. I, I, I don't remember like all the words, I just remember the melody. Dun, 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 dun. We laid that at uh, USC, I believe. Yep. I think, I think it was USC. Okay, I want to Shut get up. into one more uh throwback, Mr. Jazz. Mm. I got you. One more, just one more. Just one more. One more. Just one more. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Um, yeah. Um, so even people that have heard the new Mr. Jazz and Soul Manic, they haven't heard a lot of the older stuff. And that's right. That's where it right. started. That's that's, that's where, it's, where it started. That's, that's where, where it started. started. Humble, humble beginnings. Um before you start the song, I just want to tell a little story. <laughs> 
Hey, that's how you gonna do me? You about to do that? You really, you really about to do that? My bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. No, are you about to do melodic? Was that what? Is that was that it right okay. there? Okay, that's melodic. That's melodic. Everything about this song is like, oh my god. It's not a lot of vocals, but the vocals that are on here are so cold. Like, it really is a music to hold this song together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna cut it short, but yeah, that's that's one yeah, of the yeah, classics yeah, yeah. right there. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think that's the song Kevin Nash would play in his little midnight hour. I don't know if that's the one. It was an yes, that, 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 was was it. It. that was it. <laughs> I know all the Kevin Nash midnight massage songs. <laughs> yeah, that was the midnight massage. He would play that every night. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of them midnight massage songs. Uh huh. I know. Oh all of my them. god. Oh Ooh. yeah. Classic. Shout out to Black. He on there too. Black Thompson. Shout out to Black. Shout out to Black. Oh Shout out to Black. Yes, that, that was a midnight massage song. Shout out to Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he kept us busy. He kept us uh relevant. I, I should say, kept us real relevant. This is, you bringing back memories now. I'm I'm just like. And you know what? We got a we got a show coming up this month. Bet you didn't know that. No, because nobody told me. Well, it's kind of like a, a private affair. It's not for the public. It's a birth. It's Smith's birthday, so. Oh yeah, be I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be there. So you're gonna catch us in rare form, doing the classics. Uh, I was really loving you. Uh, Hard away, one of a kind. Uh, uh, heaven, we're gonna do all those. We're gonna, we're gonna go way back and, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna bring it back to the people this yeah. month. Be there, you know, where it's at. I'm not gonna put the information out there because it's only yeah, yeah. for a certain few, but uh, yeah, we, we, we're gonna be back in the house later on this month. So, 
Just be there. Just be there. Just yes, be there. I definitely will. Yeah. And yeah. Shout out to all y'all. I appreciate all y'all for support over the years. Y'all always made sure I got the drops on the music, um, the clothing lines, everything. I always knew about everything first. So shout out to the whole Somatic crew. Shout out to my bros. Yeah. Shout out to my bros. Yeah, I think uh I think uh yeah, we oh, I do want to mention uh for anyone that that's inquiring or do want to know. Yes, we're not done. Uh we got Mr. Jazz right now. We're working on on a new project. So I just want to put that out there. It's not finished yet, but I want to put that out there so y'all stay tuned for that cuz it's going to be something really very 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 classic. Very very classic. Nothing that you ever heard before. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um Smith. Oof. He he just got a whole lot going on with the music thing. We got a whole lot going on with him. Y'all stay tuned for some of some of the, his new stuff, his new material that's gonna come out. Uh, Smith and SOJ. Um got some fire too. It's it's just kind of ridiculous. So y'all stay tuned for that. That's on the gospel side of course mr jazz and somatic that's on the soul side so you know we're touching a little bit of you know different genres we're doing a little bit of a little bit of, and, and 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 of course after being at the show at your show at your event the bet weekend i kind of reached out to a few people so it's going to be some some new music coming from some of the artists that were there um okay. i'm gonna be collabing with some of them um and of course danny girl we're gonna do we're gonna do a little something we're gonna put something yes, out there i'm working on my ep so y'all just stay tuned um this tuned. tour had me so wrapped up i was trying to get all the artists together and we had to hire and fire so many artists before the tour got started so when we got down to our final 10 that we have now we locked okay so, they are okay. all prepared. They have everything together. They have went through artist development. They have done everything. They didn't have six months, seven months of training to get ready for the tour. So, okay. and they, I'm still tweaking them here and there, but you know, they all ready right. for the most part. They ready. And I'm, um, excited. I'm excited for you. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. They have quite a few dates coming up between now and next summer and okay. um, still going. So okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be um very interesting. I, I do like the squad that we have. Everybody's on the same page. Um mm -hmm. it's interesting working with a whole bunch of praying people. You know, that's something that, that you really don't get when you put a squad together, is everybody that's really faithful with their praying and being able to pray together and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a working with the team that I have. Um and so some of them have signed on for permanent spots with my company. So therefore it, it allows me to be able to designate some things and free up some time so that I can right. take some other projects and things like that. So now I can get back to my music. Um, right. Which you should. Our next event is April. Um, April. Lord Jesus. August 19th. <laughs> April. Um, I'm like... Yeah. August 19th. We have the second annual fashion music and cannabis festival. So that's going to be interesting. Um, the tickets are on Eventbrite. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be a whole lot of fun. We are being sponsored once again by Diamond Smokes. And if y'all was here for the block party, y'all know they came through and uh, did us right, right for show, show with the sponsorships. Um, they gave us wholesale prices on all their products. So it was it was real big. Um and they will be coming back. So shout out to Diamond Smokes from Arizona um, for sponsoring us again. Um, and we'll be having a fashion show that KD is putting together. All the artists are performing. We have some dope artists from different places performing once again. Um, we still booking vendors, but the vendors we have, I love. Um, I eat their food. And, and yeah, it's, it's going to be on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We just want everybody to grab your ticket and pull up. Hey, Asanati. Hey, Brian, Malik. Love all y'all. You people it's up in here, huh? It's to be working with you, too, Asanati. 
There's some people up in there, huh? Yeah. Malik Beasley, what's good, my brother? Hey, y'all, hey, shout out to Malik. Hey, that brother got some fire up. He got some fire music out there. He does. He does. He I heard a couple things pull it out. You're going to have to get him on the couch, too. You're going to have to get him on the couch. Definitely. He Definitely. deserves to sit down. I, I, I hear you, bro. I, I literally hear you out there. What's yeah, up, but- Alfinati? Enjoyed it. That's the young lady that sung. Um, was it the Jill Scott song? Yes, enjoyed you, Asanati. Enjoyed you. You did your thing. You did your thing. Love you too, uh, bro. What's up, big, big Miller? What's up, Brian Miller? I got yeah, you, bro. So- I got you, bro. I'm sorry, Danielle. It's okay. We got a lot of stuff coming up on both ends, so everybody just stay tuned. For the people that are watching, if you're not following JD's, go follow him on Facebook, Jason D's. Also on all platforms at JD's Music. Make sure you tap it in. Um, if you're not following me, the real Danny Girl on all platforms. And um, thank everybody for tuning in. Me and Jay, Jay, thank you for coming. This has been a wonderful pre-show. Thanks for um, having me. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah, if you're interested, anybody out there interested in being on the couch, please make sure you contact me. Um, you can hit me on Facebook. You can DM me. You can text me. You can email me. There's my information scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Uh, the real Danny Girl at gmail.com. Also, you can contact me on the website, dmeglc.square.site. Or you can call or text me. 702-578-6716. Um, I'm booking people to be on the couch. Come on the couch. Let's laugh, kiki, talk, sip, smoke, whatever you do. Let's do it on the couch and have a conversation. Y'all know nothing's off limits on the conversation on the couch. We have all the taboo conversations. Um, and this is our season three preview show. So thank y'all for tuning in up until this far. Um you know, uh, season two was a little rocky, but we pulled through and was able to finish the whole season. So we are here with season three. And I thank y'all. I thank y'all for the encouragement to get back to it. Everybody was asking me when I was open couch conversations back up and we back y'all. So the couch is open. Come holla at me. And uh, yeah, this is a good time to come promote your music, have a conversation, interview. Just chop it up on the couch. This is a good time to come be on the show. And if you missed it, you can catch it on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to The Real Danny Girl. We have our DMEG Coast to Coast Tour virtual meet and greet coming up on July 22nd. So we want to make sure everybody tunes in for that. I'll be introducing all the artists that I have on the tour and letting everybody meet them and get familiar with their music. So make sure you're tuned in for that as well. And we'll be back right here next Wednesday on the couch. I finally got me a couch, y'all. Y'all know if y'all was watching my Facebook, I was posting I needed a couch for couch. I finally got me a couch, y'all. So he is back on the <laughs> couch. couch. I got a couch. And um, if y'all want to come, if you local, if you are local and you want to come be on the couch in person, just make sure you hit me up. You can email me, DM me, um, whatever. And I make sure that you get down here and we get you on the couch in person. Um, but yeah, thank everybody for tuning in. Thank, thank y'all. You thank you for tuning in. We had a, a great conversation. Thank you. And um, it's as always, it's a pleasure. You know, can you always back? welcome to come to the couch. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. And then we can talk about. Next time we can talk about some some scandalous stuff. We can we can we can go scandalous if you want to. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have you back when I have the uh. Listen, listen, listen. So hey, everybody what up, what up? likes when I have these church topics. Okay. Like, okay. Um, I did a topic. Um, if you're in church, how do they expect you to marry when they won't don't want you to date? And I don't know how that got convoluted into another uh, conversation. But yeah, um, I've also did a conversation about sex in church and how it correlates. Okay. Yeah, that got 
transitioned into people having sex in church. I don't know how that happened, but that conversation was very, very interesting, and it's amazing what the people be doing at the church house. You know what? Um, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about <laughs> the couch gets taboo, baby. It gets oh, taboo. <laughs> it do. It actually do. But I want to talk about the the musicians. I want to talk about what we go through. I want to talk about that. I'll come back for that. If you want to take it to the church, I'll come back for that. I'll okay, come back so and do a sit yeah, down. You definitely could come back, and we could talk about these church musicians and their hygiene because yeah. I'm over it. Okay, <laughs> listen. I'm gonna need them to take baths, use deodorant. Oh and my home, god! And oh, before they come out I the house, some of them need a haircut. Um, yeah, I didn't I'm say gonna, it. I said it. It's on my Facebook, and I'm constantly saying it. I I'm need good. them to get it together because I mean, you didn't say it, but I'm telling you, you need to talk about the musicians and their hygiene because look, this, I, is not, I, this is not a good look. <laughs> It's not a good look. It's really not. It's really, I agree. I agree. I agree. You out on Sunday and you ain't had a bath since Saturday night or Saturday oh. afternoon. And oh, then you my out God. On Sunday, and it's summertime, right? And then oh. you be having four or five churches to play for, knowing you going to be out from 8 o'clock Sunday morning to 8 o'clock Sunday night. And your ass will not take the damn bath. And then you oh want to just God. with some cologne. That shit ain't working. It's 90 degrees in LA. What the hell? <laughs> You need to just stop when you giving all the you giving the whole episode away. <laughs> oh no, I could go on and on and on. Cause what triggered the whole conversation in me the other day was <laughs> I was watching Tiny Desk and I want to know why all the musicians on Tiny Desk be looking dusty. They might get their hair cut, but then they don't they don't put on no lotion, they clothes be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Come on, you gotta go easy on us though. Like, come on, we be moving around a little bit too much. Don't nobody really be paying attention to the musicians. Who told you, you feel that? me? They, if it's a good enough artist, they ain't paying attention to us. Listen, they not, they not looking at us. Our dusty okay. asses. They ain't, they ain't. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm trust me. Try, they, I, well, I'm, I'ma just. You know what? Here's Take the thing. Come to my shows can tell me every musician that be at my show. They probably don't know them by name, but they can tell you what they look like and what they had on. <laughs> Really, I that's that's a that's a maybe that's a maybe. On tiny that's, desk, all you have is the artist and the band. I mean, but that's different. You literally got them right in front of you. You, you can't even you you gonna see them because it's literally a, a, a intimate set. So you gonna see they gonna be right in the screen. That's a little different. But in the church, you might Listen, not see that. that y'all that go live on Sunday and people be panning in and zooming in on the musicians with their mm-hmm. camera like this, and y'all be looking. Go. Well, I ain't gonna say y'all because you be looking good on Sunday. I'll be seeing you, but I'm saying <laughs> some of them be looking dusty. Some of them need to wear a sign that say I took a bath. Uh, who said mm-mm. who who back oh, there co signing? You know, I, I stay with a live audience in the background. You got a low live audience. Uh, where, where my little button? I got an applause button right here. I, <laughs> I swear to God, I got a whole applause <laughs> button. Hold on, let me turn this on. Hold on. Let me get you. Hold I'm on. You... Saying, Cause man, it be bad. It be bad. Where, where is that? Where we, we get my applause in? Hold up. See, that's what I need. I need to go buy me a box. I need to buy me a sound box. Oh, it ain't even hooked up. Yeah, I got a whole, I got everything. I got the chuckling, the laughing. The... You can support by Apple Pay, yeah. Zelle, Cash App, or Venmo. Let's get the show going, y'all. Y'all know I like to build my sets and, and have stuff going on. <laughs> Gotta show up looking people in the past that have contributed to the sets. I really do. In first two seasons, I was feeling real confident with y'all. <laughs> Erica got a problem with dirty nails. I'm gonna just tell y'all right I already now. Know, as she should, because it looks horrible. Y'all, if y'all one of the musicians trying to run up on Erica, let me just let y'all know you can't be doing it with the nasty, dirty nails. You know, Erica single. I'm gonna just go ahead and love connect her. She's single, so. Y'all musicians, I'm gonna oh, just tell y'all right now. Oh, good luck. See, I'm the love cause I'm the love doctor up out here. I can hook people up with no problem. Erica gonna pick them apart. <laughs> she, she, she do not do the dirty nails. That's all she talk about is dirty nails. Dirty nails. I think she be out there watching. She, she be out there. The, it's just gonna start at the nails. It's gonna, it's gonna start, start right the there. Nails. It's gonna start. Oh Let me God. tell you. See, what you say, Erica? What you say? The dirty nails? Do you, you, 
You like it when they be chewing on them too? Uh, it out during service. Listen, most of the time they don't need to brush their teeth anyway, so it don't matter. Uh, see, I didn't even say it, y'all. I didn't even say it. Listen. But I, I do believe in hygiene. I do believe in just being clean and coming to church, especially any gig. You know, represent yourself. Really, you know, represent yourself. Some of not for no woman, though. Not party for no woman. All night Saturday and then just show up on Sunday and it's a mess. I mean, I get it. I, if if I can be honest, I used to show up like literally on gin. I used to be gin and drunk. I used to be toe up. Was you in your same Saturday night outfit on Sunday morning? Sometimes I was, but you talking about 18, 19 years old. You know? I'm talking about 30 and damn 40 nah, year old. Nah, I don't I'm even talking do about that. People over 25. Nah, I don't even get down like that no more. I be in the bed early on, uh, you know, I be in the bed. I ain't even got time. Yeah, I take I'm, I'm going to stop right here because I could go on and on and on for hours on this yeah. subject. So, so say that for the next show. I, have yeah, me on. I really can. I could really go on for hours about the dirty musicians. <laughs> well, yeah. Erica say no thing. Yeah. I'm good on musicians. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, she probably, yeah. I believe that. I believe that. If, <laughs> I'm gonna get on some of these singers too, but yeah, I'm gonna save it for the next show. Save it. I don't really want to bash. Tune in next Wednesday to Couch Conversations. Um, yeah, yeah where we yeah, talk I'm about everything on the couch. I'm a and, musician. Um, yeah, my bad. musicians have their hygiene together. Amen. Shout out to Pneumatic. They take baths and get haircuts. Shout out to Pneumatic. Amen. I do want to see it. Shout out to Pneumatic. It's the future right there. Shout out to Pneumatic. They take baths. They take baths. <laughs> they get haircuts and they clean well, their sound, hair. That don't even sound right. They take baths. Come on. They don't, they don't stop cats. Like, come on. LA no, musician. I'm not. No. I, okay. So, listen. Sunday morning, I'm going to flood your inbox with the dirty looking musicians and you're going to be mad at me. It don't matter because they, 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 they be, you know what? They getting a check. They need to take that check and wash their clothes and get a haircut and take a bath. It's some women that love that know. love it. It's some women that love it. They 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 love Listen. it. See, that's the thing. It's it's one that out makes there that questions the woman. It it does. It makes me question too. <laughs> but you know, that's what it is. That's I just literally. got a whiff of stinky foo foo. I'm about to end this. Oh, uh, see, man. see, go ahead, Cause Mindy, because we ain't gonna. Listen, we ain't gonna do the scratch and sniff. We ain't doing the scratch listen, and sniff right listen, now. Listen, listen. I got to question everybody at this point. <laughs> don't save it for the next episode. I mean, for that episode. <laughs> Thank y'all for the tuning next. in. I'll see y'all next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, Thanks. Thanks for having our, me. Our co host will be Promise from St. Louis. So y'all stay tuned and see what we're talking about on the couch. All right. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate shout you out, coming out. out girl. I love you, girl. Let's do it I again. Love you too. Let's For sure, again. real soon, like real, 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 real soon. Anytime, anytime. Okay. All right, All right y'all. Thank y'all. And as I always say, when I end any show of mine, have a divine night. Peace. Peace. <laughs>